It's that time again for my pickups and mail hauls for the month of February. First thing I picked up, now there's a couple other games I probably picked up this uh, this month that I didn't show, or I'm not gonna show in this video, or I may just gonna take a picture of it. But um, these are the things that I wanted to highlight that I picked up that uh, I've been, either I've started to play or I'm gonna be playing here soon. First one, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I am, this is one of the games that I'm looking forward to start playing. I want to try to finish Tales of Arise first and uh, the next game I'm going to talk about. But looking forward to this because this has my favorite Pokemon as a starter again and that's Cyndaquil. So I'm, I'm very hyped to be able to have him in my party as we journey through the, the lands in this game. The next one I picked up and I actually played about 11 hours of this so far. All on the first night I got it because I just I couldn't put it down. It's really, really good. But I picked up Horizon Forbidden West on the PS5. Very beautiful game. I am very much enjoying it. The story is very intriguing. I, I like the side quest. I, it's one of those games that's like it's hard to put down. And I had to like stop myself today because I needed to do some stuff around the house. And, uh, but I, I plan to pick it up a little bit tomorrow. Highly recommended. If you got a PS5, check it out. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, the next game I got, I got this for my wife. Uh, I felt it was very fitting as she's a Studio Ghibli fan and loves Totoro and Spirit Away. And I thought this was kind of right up that vein. Um, but Kina, Bridge of the Spirits. Very beautiful music. Uh, the, the, Animation design is really nice. Uh, the fun, I mean, the gameplay looks really cool. I haven't started playing it myself because I'm trying to finish some other things, but just juggling between who gets to play on the PS5 between me and my wife is, is always fun. Next game I got is Corvos. When I heard this game was very similar to the old Wing Commander games, I loved those games back in the day. I mean, I've even played the 3 and 4 on the PS1 and then Prophecy on the PC. It's a series that I, I love and I, I would love more space combat games. And to be able to have a game that's in the same vein as uh, Wing Commander, even though they're not connected, is awesome. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. This is one that I've been watching a lot of YouTubers have been getting it lately, and it's one of the ones I wish I could have gotten back when it released. This is a limited run. Um, I was hoping that this would get released on the Switch, but I, I'm a big fan of this series. Me and my friends would play this all the time, at least some of the games in this collection. And that is... PS4 version of the Metal Slug anthologies. So it's got all the Metal Slug games all in one collection. I love this. I'm looking forward to be able to play this with my son and one of my friends come over. Some nice uh, arcade two-player action. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to have this in my collection. For this one, as you guys know, I'm a big fighting game and I'm a big fighting game fan. And this is one of the things that I was looking forward to. I missed out on the, the previous uh, previous game, but I wanted to pick this up really bad because I love this series. And with it, I was trying to figure out which version I wanted to get. Um, because I do want to get it to where I can play with my friends, but I was watching Maximilian uh, on YouTube and his uh, talking about this version of the game he said that other than the PC version the next version to get that's actually the best is the Xbox 3's X version so that's what I went ahead and got I was gonna get it for the PS5 but I wanted to uh, get the one that I know that the net code was gonna work and it wasn't gonna be anything because when you're playing fighting games and there's input delay that can be a real hindrance when you're playing either locally co-op or online and the less of a delay, the better you're going to get. And so I picked up King of Fighters, the Special Edition 15. Um, and I was glad I was able to get this because normally when we have a Special Edition, sometimes you don't get it. Like right when it first goes up for pre-order, you're going to miss out. 
and luckily both the Series X and the PS5 version collector's editions are still available at GameStop. That's where I got this. Um, but yeah, it comes with a soundtrack, it comes with uh, three lithographs, uh, there's a special uh, what is it, slip case, or slip cover for the, uh, the game, and then you got an art book. It looks like it comes with have some digital content, which is awesome because you know Terry Bogard's in this game, and if you watched one of our previous episodes, we did talk about the fact that we love uh, Garu Terry Bogard, and it's got him as a, at least that costume as a DLC. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, I'm not the type of person to keep things closed unless like I'm not gonna play it right away. But let's go ahead and open this up real quick and check it out. You know, and, and unboxing within this video. Try not to make it as long, but it's hard because I got stories. I got stories I can tell and how I got into these things and why I love them. You know, because one thing, oh yeah, this game's good and all blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I think this is the protective case. We got Iori on there. And the King of Fighters logo. That'd be awesome on a jacket. But, yeah. Oh, so, you got a... Uh, Costume for Terry, and his jacket for Garu, Liana. I think that is a, that's a DLC costume. And then it came with Team Pass, so looks like there's going to be six characters for the DLC, so that's pretty awesome. Um, here's your cards. And that's a nice little Yori. So I gotta get it. Uh, it'd be cool to get framed, put on my wall. And uh, my Shinigami. And yeah, there you go. Terry Bogard and Joe. It's fantastic. I just remember playing these games and watching the anime and everything. And, yeah, get your two, two soundtrack discs. Sucks it didn't come with a case. I mean, I really would have liked the jewel case and stuff instead of just having these uh, paper sleeves. Because, um, like, even with the Street Fighter 25th anniversary one that came out years ago, um, that one was pretty cool, but it didn't come with a case. You got all these soundtracks for all the games, but there was no cases. You got plastic sleeves that they went in that you put in the case, but, you know... That case, as much as I keep up with it, it's it's falling apart. Um, but yeah, here you go. Little art book of the different characters and stuff. And the stages. Really awesome. And then lastly, of course, the game. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to playing this. I gotta as my friend said, it's blasphemy that I haven't hooked up my uh, Series X yet because I've been doing a lot of cleaning and other things going on. And I will be doing that this weekend. So, uh, yeah, happy. Very happy to have this in my collection. Um, would have been cool if we would have got a SNK style uh, reproduction uh, sleeve. Maybe someone will make one like that. It would be awesome. Kind of put this in. But yeah, it's fantastic. I picked up some anime. Of course, I'm a big anime fan. Um, one of these I was one that I watched with my dad back in the day. We love it. It's very cyberpunk. It's, it's got a great story. And they've done a remake of it with CGI. And then they did a like three other movies or two other movies. And I think it was the same team that did a lot of this, um, the Starship Trooper stuff, which is, I think, part of Square Enix. But, not Starship Troopers, but the animation studio that was doing some of the stuff. Um, but, Appleseed, the original movie. Uh, fantastic. Love this show. Um, we watch it all the time on VHS. Even before we had it on VHS, we had it recorded when my dad was part of the... Um, there was a big anime club here in Houston back in the day, and that group eventually formed ADV, 
you know, the people that did the dubbing for Neon Genesis Evangelion, the original, uh, Blue Seed, there's a couple other ones that uh, I could list, but, um, but yeah, this is great to have in my collection. Um, basically kind of like takes place after World War III, there's uh, regular people, cyber enhanced people, and full-on androids. Um, and a group of people that were found in the wasteland that end up becoming uh, part of this special unit that takes on like different terrorist groups and things within inside this giant city. And uh, like conspiracy that happens, but fantastic anime, you should check it out if you get a chance. Um, the last anime I got, um, now, I've, as much as I'm a Transformers fan, I am. Transformers is the series for me, besides Robotech. Um, but if you know anything about the history of Transformers or Transforming Toys, the first one that came here to the States by a few months was uh, GoBots. And, well, when they did the animation series, um, it was done here in the States. Now, there was actually an anime series in Japan that the figures were actually based off of, and I finally was able to get one of the series for that, and that is um, Machine Robo. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching this. I've only seen maybe a few episodes of the show on YouTube, because um, I didn't even actually know about it until a couple years ago, um, what the original, which is funny because I, I keep up on a lot of that stuff. And, I did not know that there was actually an anime series for the original GoBot line. Um, because like with Transformers in Japan, it was like Car Robo and Diaclone. Um, come on, there was a couple others. I can't think of them right now. That kind of got all roped into one for when Hasbro released Transformers here. And there was originally no anime series for it. It was all a bunch of commercials you know, like geared towards kids. Now you had the uh, Micronauts, I think, had, a, had its own little cartoon, maybe a couple others, but there wasn't anything like this big giant thing for what became Transformers for Kara. Um, it wasn't until it came here that we actually got stuff. Now, but for GoBots, it was, you know, there was a series, uh, Machine Robo. And um, it's, it's totally different, you know, like versus like what we got here where you had Leader One and Psykill, were the two leaders of the two different factions. Um, you know, one of them is Eagle Robo and the other one was uh, Bike Robo. And uh, they were technically on the same side. They weren't villains. But, you know, it's amazing how we adapt things here in the States to be a certain way for a uh, demographic. I actually ordered this back in April of last year and it finally came in like just a, like a week and a half ago. I've been waiting to you know, kind of get the last bit of straggler, straggler things that I had uh, pre-ordered or wanted to get in before I made the video. But I'm very happy to have these in my collection. I've kind of, I kind of lucked out because the um, one of my my buddy Rob with his shop and stuff, the Peddler's Post, he had just got in a huge collection of. Of turtle stuff and it was like a few of the ones I was missing for the, the NECA turtles and oh, man I was like just a couple minutes late before I could grab them um, but so first one so anthrax and anthrax and then scumbug I used to have scumbug back in the day for the original thing so it's really cool to have a, a good version of him you know more detailed and stuff. I always like when I had my figure, I was like, man, I love a scumbug where he's like completely turned into like a roach my man. Uh, not with the arms, but like I love the little transformation that was going off the character. And then, you know, I don't, I never had Antrax, but it, you know, it's a, it's a, it's cool to have. I mean, I, I can't wait to be able to, you know, get these guys out and display them with the rest of my turtle figures. But yeah, very, very awesome. A dragon grandeur. So it'd be nice to be able to put them over the cranes and uh, basically the first and second season turtle stuff. So I'm glad to be able to have 
of these two in the collection. I still need the uh, Channel 6 April pack, you know, with uh, Burn, Vernon, April as a, the cat, and then the uh, Irma, where she can also transform into her mouse version. Uh, I still need the uh, Slash and um, Leatherhead 2 pack. Um, who else? Vernon and uh, Rat King. I need the Pizza Monsters, which I, I missed out on the pre-order for that. And then they just had a bunch of new turtle stuff that they're gonna have up for pre-order like between now and like the next four weeks. Um, I missed out on those pre-orders that went up just like the other day, which were um, the fifth turtle, I can't remember his name, um, the character, but then there was the dojo of the, tur the evil turtle clan. Um, and then there was the foot soldier, the rock soldier uh, infantryman, and the uh, kind of the, the, the henchman for the turtle game w went up. And I, I totally missed them. So I know there's just too many ones I'm gonna have to look inside targets for. And then, uh, but between the fifth and so, so the fifth of March to uh, for two weeks, they're going to be doing. Pre-orders for Toka and Razor finally, and they're gonna be. I gotta get them. Uh, I need to have those. And then they're doing a four-pack, and it's gonna be like the, the box is gonna look like the old VHS copy of the TMNT uh, to the Secret of the Ooze. So it's them from that movie with all the like different accessories. Looks fantastic. Um, it's supposed to have like an accessory pack. So those I gotta get. I gotta get both of those. They gotta go in my collection. I have to have them. <laughs> uh, as much as I'm a turtle fan, and I love what NECA's is doing. I mean, yes, there's some QC issues, but um, you know these display really well, and I'm, I'm happy to have these in the collection. Okay, so two things that I got that. Uh, we're kind of at the end of last month and the beginning of this month, and I've already took them out of the box. That, uh, but finally got Bodhi Rook. Actually, one of my favorite characters out of that movie for Rogue One. I wanted him to be made as a figure for a long time to be able to have a complete uh, crew, and I finally do. And the sculpt looks amazing on this guy. And then let's see. The next thing I picked up was um, basically this is uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, his uh, black and gold suit. When he got the, uh, I don't know if he, 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 I think he comes with the golden gauntlets and everything, or the his web shooter that he uses. But there you go. I actually want to get most of these characters in this set, at least Doctor Strange. Uh, Miles Morales and then um, J. Jonah Jameson and then his gold suit. Um, I'm not really, I don't really care about the build a figures parts of it, so maybe I can, you know, sell those or give them away to my friends who may want that to build that character. But I love Spider Man. I love this costume. It's not the best, but it's just a cool design, and I'm, I'm very happy with having this figure. All right, so. The last three are figures. Um, I got two from Big Bad Toy Store and one from Amazon Pulse. Or Amazon Prime. Not Amazon Prime. Hasbro. Hasbro Pulse. Jeez. Um, it's weird talking in front of the camera. Even though I've been doing it for a year now. It's still weird. So, uh, both of these uh, Big Bad Toy Store stuff should be um, stuff to expand my mobile suit Gundam stuff so this is the 001 Gundam Exia from the 00 series fantastic fantastic Gundam I need to I still need to pick up the Freedom and the Heavy Arms, uh, so which should give you a hint, because I think I talked about one of the figures I was missing for this line. Wing Gundam Zero. 
Man, can't wait to get these out and check them out and get them displayed. Um, yeah, so this completes the, I think the fourth wave, and this is the fifth wave. So I just need to get the Freedom and Heavy Arms. And then the sixth wave, I think, is the Salabi or Salabi, which is uh, Char's. Char has rules, uh, mobile suit from Char's counterattack, the uh, Shin, Shinlong Gundam from Gundam Wing, which should complete my Gundam Wing series, uh, unless they do Epion, which would be cool. Um, and then the Master Gundam for uh, G Fighter. So happy to have these in my collection. Um, I'm starting to work on trying to figure out how I'm going to get them all displayed, but most of them are all out. And love, love these coming figures. The, you know, Bandai is doing great, and Tamashii Nation is with these old Gundam uh, universe figures. All right, last pickup. Uh, one of the set series I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying collecting is the Black Series figures, and I saw this. And I thought it was amazing. There's, I think, there's a couple other ones for this set that I want to pick up, but. Um, it's not bent. I've had some of these come and they were bent, but uh, Griff and the Mandalorian. I'm probably not going to take this out. Um, just really awesome, kind of reminiscent of the old uh, Power of the Force line back in the day. And uh, just fantastic. I don't remember what they were, the reason why I was wanting to get this one, other than the fact that. I have him, but I don't have him in this color scheme. I think this is his look from uh, Mandalorian Season 2. Um, but yeah, that's, this, is, this is everything, guys. I love collecting. It's a fun hobby. It keeps me out of trouble. At least I hope it does. And, um, but yeah. Well... I hope y'all enjoyed what I picked up. Tell me what's your favorite things. Let me know what you've picked up in the month of February. It's been a pretty good month. I haven't had too many problems, and I look forward to how we're going to go into March and what new and exciting things the world's going to bring us. But uh, till then, have a good one, guys. Catch you later.